Media can shape the public's belief about HIV and other health issues and influence public health policies. People still believe that HIV is something like sorcery or witchcraft and they believe it's not real. Poor reporting can inflate false rumors, provide inaccurate information and increase stigma and discrimination. My children will know everything. Betty and her children work on her memory book and they come to know that their mother is HIV positive. Quality reporting means a better informed public. It enlivens broad public debate and gives voice to people living with and affected by disease. When people started reporting on HIV and AIDS, they used to talk about the disease as if it was HIV and AIDS for them and not for us. It sounded more like fiction. In response, Internews launched Local Voices in 2002 to train and support journalists and engage managers and editors in proving reporting on HIV. HIV. I'm happy that I trained at Internews. It has given me a chance to know more about uh, radio production, how to interview people, how to do a feature story, and basically how to deal with HIV. Internews uses a journalist-to-journalist -journalist approach and with a focus on local language media to improve coverage of health issues. The best thing I liked about Local Voices is involving the journalist through case studies, through field visits, through an interaction uh, you know, with the HIV-positive community itself. You involve the journalist in producing something. That makes all the difference. We have Tamil software in all the terminals. Local Voices fills the gaps journalists face every day. Media resource centers provide much needed access to editing facilities, internet, experienced researchers with a Rolodex of contacts, travel grants to get reporters to stories, and most importantly, access to mentors. You can't teach someone how to be a journalist in a week. You need to mentor them afterwards and help them to develop the skills that you taught them in that week. With our Local Voices program, we like to think that we're filling that gap. Being um, a newsroom mentor outside the newsroom, journalists love it. This model is tailored to meet the needs in challenging media environments, from Kenya to India to Ethiopia and Vietnam. The results are clear. Reporting improves. The public gets vital information and reporters see the benefit of dedicating themselves to coverage of HIV and other public health issues. In Ethiopia, Local Voices introduced radio feature reporting. We have never done radio features before the training and that paved the way. In India, the mentoring from Local Voices inspired a groundbreaking talk show challenging stereotypes. Transgender people have been shunned by the media and so I want to be there and keep being that positive star. Reporter Sami Muraya began covering health issues after attending an internews workshop. His first investigative report covered transactional sex between Matatu drivers and young girls in Kenya. I dwelled mostly on children's programs. I came to Internews, got trained in HIV and AIDS reporting. The first program that I did, the one on uh, Matatu Cruise, the response that we got was tremendous. It was huge. The National AIDS Control Council officers realized how big a problem and a risk the, the Matatu Cruise were. And so from there, then they started a program that was geared entirely towards the Matatu Cruise. And from that uh, time on, that is when I decided to do um, HIV and AIDS reporting. The key is improving local reporters' ability to tell the stories of HIV in a local language and context, making the story relevant to the audience. Giving a story a human face or that human voice brings a story to life. You're not talking about person X or, you know, individual Y. You're talking about me and you because it's real. Somebody's sharing their own personal experience. Local Voices has trained over 1,000 journalists to tell these stories, often exploring taboo issues. Their reporting is recognized internationally with 20 prestigious awards. 
They report on the public health, social and economic impact HIV has on their communities, giving these stories perspective and context and empowering people with the means to make their voices heard. Mm -hmm.